Here we go. All right, we need some music. This is my drama streamer arrow right now, chat. This is drama streamer error. The drama of this level being beaten. I could put Balatro in that lower one. Have I seen Beast PB yet? No. I haven't. Where did he get? Um. MMR, thank you so much, Quantzer. Thank you for the tier sub to drama. What exactly is Balatro? It's not even like poker. Yeah. Yeah, this is Sanic. We got. Wait, what are we doing here? So we got Sanic down bottom right, sweaty piranha, beast top left. You don't get the Hades reference? It's like Hades. Like, it's like a, a roguelike game. Like Hades, you know what I mean? Wait, what are we getting here? What is going on? Cut him out. Cut him out. Cut him out. Dude, it's so good. Addicted. I totally understand it. You pick a weapon, have consumables and modifiers? Yeah, that, all, all of that. All of that, Dr. Awesome Pants. It's actually... Yeah, that's actually, like, incredibly accurate. <laughs> yeah, actually, like, yeah. Oh, if, if we get a hype train, it might be the Golden Kappa today. Uh, you should buy Balatro. Watching other people play it, like... I, I only watch people play it after I've played it, right? <laughs> Let's -a go! Yes. Did you buy it on PC Activision or Switch? CEO Bobby Kotick makes 155 million a year, while Nintendo's CEO oh, Shutaro Furukawa makes 2.51 million dollars a year. This is a difference of over 60 times, I know. and a great example of how get. Nintendo can allocate resources better than Activision. Instead deck. of paying their CEO more, Nintendo can focus on what matters most to the company, lawsuits against their biggest fans, like nine-year-old Paco Gutierrez. You know, the new Contra runs like trash on the Switch. I need to play the new Contra. I thought it looked pretty good, actually. Like, I thought it looked like old Contra, but, you know, but kind of updated. Which sometimes is good, sometimes is bad. I'm a Firefox stan. Dude, Chrome doesn't run for me. Like, I can't watch YouTube or Twitch on Chrome anymore. If I have more than one tab open, Chrome does not work.
I've never used Opera GX. New Joe. I listen, I have zero brand loyalty to any any um browser. Yeah. Zero brand loyalty. I will I will cha I'll change in a heartbeat. I could give a fuck what browser I use. You know what? Whatever browser pays me most. I need it. Sounds like I need to reinstall Chrome then. Why? I, I installed Firefox. Ah! <laughs> I know. I'm waiting for a third person to come up. I could widescreen myself. Yeah. Because they're doing something different right now. They've abandoned, they've abandoned their ship. I don't know where they're going. I don't know what they're doing here. Oh, they're going back. We're good. Yeah, I, I, I just don't care. I have no brand loyalty. I mean, I don't have much brand. I have, I have brand loyalty to exactly one brand. So. Yeah, I don't have brand loyalty to any other brand. I have no brand loyalty to any, any other company besides. Besides, like, you know. The ones that pay me. Definitely not. Uh, I played the first Little Big Planet, but I haven't played anything in the series after that. Until her channel turned to a discussion of real world events. She was looking solid. What real world events was she, was the discussion? I'm so excited. Oh. Yo, Clint's friend. Let's go. Let's go with the five gift subs. Can we get back to 4K? 45 away. Chad, I bet we lose 800 subs while I'm gone for two days. Do 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 No Kappa train? Oh no golden Kappa train? What is this bullshit train? Fumble to four, we gotta fumble to four. I'm so excited! Too heavy for bedtime for you. Thank you for the five again. Clint's friend, thank you for the four. Fumble for four. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Yeah, I, I get you, MMX. Like, what's the point, right? What's the point? Like, I'm totally with you. Do I think Max is winning every race this season? Every race, no. But do I think he's going to win 15 again? Yes. I do think he's going to win 15 races again. And that might be like... Like, I might be grossly underestimating. Like, if he won 20, 20 races, wouldn't be shocked. I'd be more shocked if he won under 15 than if he won 20. And that's insane. Yo, motherfucking Campy. Campy, I just keep sending you yo's so we can make this happen. Chad, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get Kaizo Colo. Trying to get it planned out, right? You yoed me back? I didn't even see it yet. Uh, he's gonna break his 10 in a row record? I don't know. Chef Zen, thank you so much. I think, uh, I definitely think he's gonna break 10 in a row. I don't, I don't know about every race, but I do think he's going to do over 15 again. 
over 15 again. I think the problem that Max is going to have is the... I mean, this is hard for me, chat, because clearly this is my favorite team, and it's beyond just being my favorite team. I can't be objective about this at all, right? But, I, you know, there's a lot going on right now with his team, and, and I, I, like, I think that's the only thing that can really stop him. Or Checo on street circuits. Like, Checo's great at street circuits. Like, I think we can all agree Checo's pretty good at street circuits, right? Sweaty Piranha's on screen three. Uh, uh, we moved him because Sweaty Piranha's not. Take him out. They're out of the rotation right now. Let's go. Maybe not. Activision um, CEO Bobby Kotick makes 155 million a year, while Nintendo's CEO Ronnie Stay Awake makes 2.51 million dollars a year. This is a difference of over 60 times, and a great example of how Nintendo can allocate Ronnie Stay Awake Activision. Instead of paying their CEO more, Nintendo can focus on what matters most to the company, lawsuits against their biggest fans, like 9-year-old Ronnie years. Stay Awake. <laughs> um, you think Checo's a top five driver? I don't know where Checo is as a driver, but I'd probably have him in my top half. He's, he's my favorite driver, so I'm also probably biased a little bit. Um, I think Checo's really good. I think Checo got a lot of hate last year. And I, I just think the thing is that people don't... I think people really don't realize, like... How much better Max is than ever. Max is definitely, it's not Matt Max is in the best car. Max is the best driver in the best car, both. Like, he, it's, it is a combination. He, but he is the best driver. You could put him in any car and he'd still probably get a few wins. Like, you know? Yeah, I think that's the hard problem, too, is just like comparison to Max. Um, like, if I was rating current drivers on the grid, Max would be number one light years ahead of everybody and then it'd be like this like extremely small gap between like two to nine probably with like lando would probably be my number two today lando lewis leclerc alonzo the l's right the l's you could put any of them and i'm okay with that right even an Alpine? I think Max would score consistent points in an Alpine, yeah. He's that good. Lonzo. Uh, Lando, Lando's insane because Lando's, Lando would have, like, you know, Lando should have, like, a grip of wins already, and he would have way more wins. His whole career is going to be the fact that he's driving with Max, right? Yeah. I don't think the maker actually cares much, to be honest with you, anymore. I think they're done with Mario, and I don't think they care anymore. Um, I think there's a possibility, chat, that Mario was an addiction for that creator, for the creator, and, and they had to kind of cold turkey their way out of the community. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's legitimate. Um, I think I think there's also too. I I see people that are addicted to. I see it. I see streamers that are addicted to games, and they and it's detrimental to their life. If I didn't have a thousand people watching me, it'd be detrimental to my life. But I do so. Thank, thank you guys. Thank you guys. No pixel. Huge ass. I was doing it to myself in no pixel too. I saw other no pixels. Like it was so weird. It was so weird. Like I saw it and I couldn't stop. <laughs> it was like, oh, I can just stop after I rob the vault. Oh, I can just stop after I do this, right? Chad, I'll be right back. I gotta pee.
Anyone beat it while I was gone, chat? Sorry, my son came in with a scraped knee, and oh, I had to handle it. We had to, I had to, we had said some, we had some, needed some hugs. He went, so we sing, we sing a good day song. It's gonna be a good day. It can even be a great day. Like we do that every morning, right? We're corny, I know. He was down there. He goes, it's not a good day. It's the worst day ever. I never want a day like this again. <laughs> and it's just like, he's hurting and you don't want to laugh. But also like. No, I didn't hear if he had any, if he got it. It's also just funny. Yeah. Can I sing that to you guys every day? Yeah. I tell you what, I'm glad Beast, I feel like Beast is kind of transferring over to like taking this level seriously because I definitely think he could be the one. I absolutely think he could be the one. I mean, look at these drops he's getting right now, chat. I also think I'm biased since we're such good friends. Is anyone checking to make sure no one sneak beats it? I mean, if someone beats it, someone beats it. You know what I mean? Like, what are you going to do? Someone beats it, someone beats it. I'm just the brakes. Mm. Oh, I know. What is Manscaped doing? Uh, Sanic's been pretty good too, honestly. Why aren't I going for it? I don't have a Wii U, bro. You got money on Penga beating it? I don't think Penga's playing it, though. Manscapes the worst thing you put on your scrotum, awful trimmer? Let's go! I don't have a problem with it. Hey, thanks for the bits. Thanks for the bits. I appreciate you. I don't think that's going to happen. Get to GameStop and get a Wii U. Whatever my Wii U, uh, my um, gamepad just doesn't work anymore. I don't know, like, if I broke it and, like, the moves and stuff that I did, but, um, you know? It just was, was what it was. Yeah, I wish Sanic would switch to, like, one that's, like, starts at the door, you know? Um, but, you know, I, I mean, I trust, I trust they know what they're doing. Yeah, I just don't want to pay $300 for a Wii U. I mean, the Wii U is actually, like, kind of expensive for main subs. I looked at it, chat, it's just, like, I just need, I don't, I just... This is not worth it. And all I would be doing, I wouldn't have a realistic shot at beating it, chat, because I haven't played this game since Mario Maker 2 came out. Like, I haven't gone back and played Mario Maker 1 at all, right? So I really wouldn't have a realistic shot at beating it, most likely. 
I would just be farming your viewership. You know? Get like four thousand dollars to pay for that level, but I wouldn't. But I, I just wouldn't. I, I don't think I, I don't think I have it right now. You know what I mean? Like I just, I don't think I got that muscle memory in me to do it. But maybe, maybe I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe not playing it would help me. Maybe because I haven't played it, that would help me. <laughs> More expensive golf sim. Well, I'm gonna far I'm gonna use the golf sim to do a hole in one challenge video. I'm gonna invite a bunch of friends over and we're gonna try and do a hole in one challenge. Yeah. How would you toss it? I was an MC. This is right in my alley. Gold sim does sound. I saw. Look at Sanix. Does he get it too? Two? Two in a row. Two in a row right there. Tell you what, if you get all the way up there, you don't want to miss it, right? You don't want to miss it if you get all the way up there, so. Um, the first person that's able to, to get to, just to get to the third herb on, like, with any sort of consistency... Like, they're gonna be the one. You know? Uh, it's just getting... I don't know if that's even possible to get there with anything that resembles consistency, though. Yeah. No, I'm, I mean, I'm contemplating making a video of all the reasons why I don't think it was a cheated upload. But I felt like I kind of covered most of it in my last one, so it's kind of like, what's the point of doing that? Yeah, Curbs is really good at the first. I mean, Curbs, Beast, Jank are all really good at that first trim. But it's the second, it's not even the second trim, it's the second, like, getting over. You know? Uh, Mario Maker 2 is going to be significantly harder, if for no other reason, just the fact that there is a, there's no editor mode, um, so you can't download levels, like, not just downloading levels of practice, you know, random shit like this, not even that, right? Let's not even talk about that. Download, like, the fact that you're going to have a bunch of levels with, like, obscure dev exits that are going to need to be cleared that we can't find those out necessarily like right off the bat um it's going to take a lot longer like the average level is just going to take a lot longer so i believe it's going to be b2 yeah i absolutely believe it's going to be b2 i, I um I mean, yeah, and I think those are, like, very weird circumstantial things, you know what I mean? Like, Iwan McDougal? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think those are very, like, like, that's, like, uh, I don't know. I just don't think either one of those are evidence of anything. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's kind of like, I don't even want to entertain the accusations because the accusations are so stupid there is a site where you can use mmm 2s levels and editor but still like just like seeing uh, seeing the levels different than like being inside the level with the editor you know yeah i especially think that never grinded other people's hard levels is probably the dumbest one that's pro that to me is probably the dumbest thing i've ever i, I have about it Jank Pickle is very good at video games, so. Um, I mean, I don't think they're going to need an extension, honestly. I'd be shocked if I get home from Boston and this is still going. Shocked, I tell you, shocked.
hold you back. I want to give you every chance. Shocked, I tell you. April 8. The Tush Push isn't being banned? Good. Good. Are they doing any rule changes? Got anything? Hip drop tackle rule change? Rousey says concussions force MMA retirement? Yeah, man, you, she got kicked in the fucking face. <laughs> she got fucking kicked in the face. We all saw it. Duh. Now she's a now she's a slightly problematic um, wrestler. Wish there was a way to download, say, the top thousand levels, so you can keep playing. I mean, you can you can download you can fill up your core spot and do that. Um, they also have this Pretendo, I think, is putting up a server for people, so if they really want to keep playing. Um, you know what would be my dream is if whatever server like got put up like we could start adding and really like changing what we can do in Mario Maker that'd be that'd be lit you know yeah keep wondering how the site is able to talk Nintendo APIs well there's a Super Mario Maker bookmark site anyway um or there was. Is it still around? Is it down now? It doesn't exist anymore. And I know we used to get a lot of stuff from that. I guess it's not down anymore, so I have no idea. New server, new fan made DLC. Yeah, that's that would be really, really cool. I would get back down on Mario Maker if we get a lot of cool shit like that. Trials of Death had like a like a abbreviated version uploaded, but um, Trials of Death also had some like wicked cheese just happened to it recently, chat, and it like it's still super hard. Like don't get me wrong, it's still super hard, but it cuts off like cool. Yeah, I guess I'm curious of like what you know. I mean, but I mean we're still adding to you know to mario world now so you know pr maybe the pretendo thing like can figure it out in the next few years even about how we can add like just dude, even we just like start fucking plugging in some goddamn backgrounds i would i would hop back on mario maker so hard if that was the case nintendo would sue them wrong emo <laughs> I'm all right with that emote. You can use that emote for that situation. What time is my flight? Midnight. I gotta drive to the airport though. It's like an hour and a half drive for me. The one thing I miss about Portland. Yeah, chat. I'm just kind of yeah. I'm I'm doing this. Listen, listen, chat. I, I didn't want to take a day off, all right? I'm fumbling for four. I was driving for five, now I'm fumbling for four. Am I flying Boeing? Probably. Probably a Boeing airplane. I don't want to talk about it, okay? I just don't want to think about it. I'm just gonna go to sleep. I'm just gonna go to sleep. Okay? No, I'm not sitting anywhere near the I think JC's trying this level. Doesn't JC stream? They're just gonna sleep. It'll be a painless way to go.
How much money could I get if I was on one of those planes, though? The correct takeaway is it's a lost door and still no one died. I don't know if that's the correct takeaway, honestly. <laughs> I don't know if that's the takeaway I had from it. I mean, I was, I, I do think that's pretty cool. Like, right? That's not a bad takeaway, but the whistleblower died. Uh, yeah, the whistleblower died. And, um, yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> You downloaded the your last trip. You downloaded the most last recent uh, last week tonight. It was the Boeing episode. Oh God! Did Boeing kill the whistleblower? I tell you right now. I, I'd say this. Obviously, everything I'm about to say is to be alleged. Okay. But of all the questionable, questionable self killings in the history of time, including the recent one that you all are thinking of. All right. I really don't think the Boeing whistleblower was, um... I think he's the least likely to have been self-inflicted. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yes, Penfold Danger Mouse, thank you for saying the thing that we all knew I was talking about. Oh, look at this guy uh, uh, saying a thing without having to say, you know, having a little tact about it because the internet. Jesus Christ. Anyway. Boeing's just lucky that that happened after the Last Week Tonight episode aired. <laughs> Otani didn't gamble. The I I the Otani thing is Yeah, that's that's a trip too. Platinum, thank you so much. 50, for 52 months. Love a corn dog and some french fries. Get off soon. Off soon, so Okay. Yeah, I need to pack. I need to pack, dude. Yeah, I mean, it might be the thing where we, like, we might have to pack and then... I don't need a lot of clothes. I just need, like, sweatpants, some sweatpants, and well, some... Particular... Not clean stuff. I might be able to come home Saturday. My PM was like, my PM was like, yeah, I don't think they need you for anything. I was like, they asked me to stay, and he's like, eh. Oh, I might be able to get home Saturday. All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Hey, everybody. Thank you for three months, Iron Uh Pin. Oh, three months in advance? Oh, shit. Platinum, thank you so much. Thomas Travels, thank you again as well. Um, And Serafina, one more time. Somebody needs to sign a line suggesting it was Otani doing the gambling and Ippy is the fall guy, but everything we know points away from that theory. Um, well, yeah, I mean, that's the internet. Internet's going to conspiracy theory everything to be the absolute worst thing that's ever existed. Um, and just like, I also, like, Japanese culture is very loyal. You know what I mean? Like, the idea that Shohei Otani, you know, prefer one billionaire like helping out a guy like transferring five million dollars to his like i could see that that's not like something that's like you know uh too out of hand um i think i think it would be a lot more money if if it was otani right like that's my that was my logic oh that would be a lot bigger than if it was actually otani that would have been a bruno mars like debt you know um, no one said Boeing's going out of business. So none of us want to fly in their planes, and I'm about to have to. We're talking baseball. No, we're talking. We're talking. Uh, honestly, we're talking internet drama. Well, Phil Mickelson's owned by Saudi Arabia now, so I mean, <laughs> the same way Bruno Mars is owned by MGM. Uh, I'd say it's a, he's, he's a, the designated fall guy hitter shit. 
Who owns me? Um, probably TCR Delta right now. Penny Hamster and Acario. You Jazz Pie is probably the currently um my um yeah probably the the the, the biggest owns my ass right now. All time Cobalt. Yeah, all time probably Cobalt. I guess considering I'm going on this midnight flight right now, Red Bull definitely would be one. Lady Poo? Little bit, yeah. No, I like I like midnight flights. I'd rather go overnight, honestly. Um, I excited for the Lions draft. Um I don't think we're gonna have a day one. I think we're gonna end up trading our day one draft picks, so. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens to the draft. I mean, I feel like the Lions are. You know, we need to improve. We need to improve in our secondary. And I feel like your secondary, it's really hard to improve like immediately in the draft in your secondary. Like, it's not often that a safety or a cornerback can come in and just be an impact player as a rookie. The way a receiver can, the way a running back can, the way um, even a quarterback can at this point. Um, cornerback is corner, not quarter. Corner is one of the absolute most difficult positions to adjust to in the uh, in the NFL. So, um, yeah. So, and I think the Lions know that. You know, we just let C.J. Gardner Johnson go. We're definitely gonna have to replace him. So. Yeah, I don't really fuck with the lounges. How will the Bears fuck up the draft? I don't think they're going to. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not like not saying it never happens, but I just think it's going to be harder for the Lions at what we're t drafting 29. I think it's going to be harder for us to find like the impact player we need at that particular position. You know what I mean? So I could see them trading it away or. You know, or just going safe, taking, uh, you know, finding another offensive lineman. You can never go wrong with that, right? Yeah. You know what? You know what I really hate? I hate when you talk about the what is normal and people talk about the exception to that normal and act like that should be the new rule. Zuri. You know, like I, I like... You just named one one exceptional person. One. And then Sauce Gardner. Name another. Yeah. You can't you can't um Yeah, I could see us taking another I mean, like, I don't think you can go wrong take you know shoring up your line when you if you're if you're like if you you know if you want a position like if you want a secondary position and you don't think like there's a guy there I think you can never go wrong helping out your defensive or offensive lines yeah uh, I don't remember um well, Zuri, clearly we don't have the right... Si what does that even mean? Okay, Zuri, first of all, first of all, what does that even mean? And what does that have to do with the draft? And two, if the Lions' biggest need is their secondary, clearly they don't have a good enough system to make an average guy look good. Okay? None of that... That That is hyperbole that means nothing. <laughs> uh... Who's talking about getting flown out? No, I never I never flew out girls. I never flew out girls. Um, I've been married since I've been doing this. Like, I, I didn't have my first stream till after I was married. So, no, I've never done that. Um, I did it before I was married. Uh, old girlfriends from college. We used to come visit me in Tahoe. Yes. Oh, I have flown Kelpsy to sessions. Yeah, you're right. Fuck. Shit. You're right. 
It's a two-prong approach. You can't just throw away the draft. No one's throwing away the draft, Zuri. What are you... What are you... What are you... I don't know what you're talking about. Zuri. Zuri. I, I'm respectfully... Respectfully. Too much first take, man. Too much first take here. It's like Mad Dog over here just talking about random stuff, baby. Okay, we're not throwing away the draft. I was talking... We're talking about trading the pick for a more established secondary player. Okay? Rather than... Rather than taking a late round secondary player. I am getting one guy. That's why I'm one guy in his name. Yes. Never beating these allegations. <laughs> Out of the lines continue to be really good, yeah. Yes. What on earth did you join into? You joined into you joined into talk. Hot talk about um NFL. The one guy simulator? Just drafting someone doesn't work though. You know how many guys get drafted that suck every year? I don't know. I keep I keep seeing the C I keep seeing Sneed from all my like local Detroit stuff, and maybe that is just like local like Detroit just Hoping, but I feel like Sneed is that's what we're trying to make happen. That pick. But I think today's the day, no. Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe not. Um I would I wouldn't mind if the Lions You know what my big worry is? I worry that the Lions are gonna get sucked into taking JJ McCarthy if he drops down that far. That's my biggest worry. I don't want anywhere part of that. Yeah, I, I could see that happening. I mean, I could see us trading for him and still playing on the tag, but... I'm surprised we haven't signed a Monra, but I have. I feel like that's also part of the Sneed thing, too. Dude, JJ is ridiculous. I don't, can't believe how far he's going. It's crazy how young Goff still is. What is he, like 27? 28? Is he... <laughs> I think Goff is going to have a very Kirk Cousins-like career. I just don't get how JJ even got into the first round. Jared Goff's as old as Joe Burrow? So he's older than, he's younger than Michael Penix? I thought Pettix was 25. Isn't him and Bo Nix, I thought were both like 24, 25. They're all they're all younger than Lamar Jackson still. How many videos does he have in his B-Rate back screen? It's wildly impressive. If you could pay Kurt Cousins money with Kurt Cousins' expectations. Let's go. Me too. Three weeks ago, me I was too, having a rough Chad. time. Me too. My friend kicked me and my dog ran away because I lived in an abandoned World War II bunker. Then I started watching Boo. Thanks You're welcome for, for all, all the hard, the hard work. work. <laughs> there's a um, chat. There's a player in the NCAA tournament a uh, basketball player who's 28 years old he's 28 years old he's on his or sorry 26 years old on his 8th year of eligibility sorry 26 8th year of eligibility is that old to play college basketball we skill now yes 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 that is old For college basketball? That's old. That's middle age at BYU. How do I do that? How do I do that? I want to learn how to do that. Twenty six is middle age? For college basketball?
Oh, dude. Headman? Fucking serious. He's fucking serious about it. <laughs> Dark age college people. What are we? What are we doing? Uh, J.R. Smith retired from um, basketball and then went and co played college golf in his thirties. He's doing, he's trying pause buffer strats. Oh my God, is that the biggest brain move? Yeah, I don't know what the Vikings real plan is right now. I, I mean, I tend to agree. I don't think my thing about a pause buffer is you're still like you have to pause at the right time too, you know? Um and the the Bears should have just traded that one over to over to the Vikings for both Addison and JJ and their picks. And their picks. And just let Fields Fields run wild with four all pro wide receivers. What if LeBron James just goes to college and plays with the Sun? He can't because he's played professional basketball, so he couldn't do that. But LeBron, in theory, could, like, go play a different collegiate sport, in theory, you know? Um, I, I just, I think the thing is with a pause buffer is I think you would, you'd still have to pause in the right spot, you know? Like, how much can it really help? Because like, I still like you're you're still like looking at a frame perfect pause, right? Like unless you can like spam it so you can pause every other frame, like that's what you want to like pause buffer. So you want to be like s spamming your pause the whole time. The beast got old. <laughs> yeah, I'm just waiting for the final day so I can clutch. Uh, PS4, thanks again. Um, I don't know. Yeah, that's kind of my thing, Handsome Mikey. I feel like it's just adding more inputs, yeah. Yeah, I, I just don't... Yeah, I don't think it would help. Why the final day? Just wait till the final hour. It's the final count. If no one beats it by Monday, I'll start letting my... I'll, I'll turn my podcast into my game over down here. My game play with everyone else's and you can just, you guys can then watch me not, not get past the first herb ever. I'm trying my best to content farm. I don't have my Wii U and I just like honestly this A looks miserable it doesn't look fun at all and B I don't want to I don't want to grind this shit like I don't want to grind this shit and C I'm not like honestly I haven't played Mario Maker 1 in six years chat I've been Mario Maker 2 since Mario Maker 1 came out which was what 2018 like it just it ain't happening yeah Weird how views go up when we're re restreaming. Big Hook King Andy. The thing I've learned over my last seven days of content creation has been um, very, I don't know, kind of almost like alarming. 
kind of almost alarming to me. But what I have learned between here and YouTube is that people would rather listen to me talk, focusly talk on something than play video games and talk. Uh, I don't know why that one doesn't like it. I don't know why that one didn't go through too, dude. It's like event coverage. Plenty of people prefer to watch someone cover something than watch the actual thing. No, I get it, you know? Is Barbara block TTS term? Definitely not. 100% not. Everyone's hoping to catch the moment. Well, yeah, I mean that too. But it's not just that. It's just like I've done a couple. We've done a couple videos, like just talking head videos. So I'm gonna I'm gonna continue to do some. Yeah, I'm pretty confident this level will get cleared in time. I don't know why it doesn't go. That doesn't explain my YouTube views. Yeah, exactly. The the coverage of it. I mean, I think it's a combination. It's like a very interesting thing, and I don't know. The format was good. Wonderful editing on that first one. The first one had incredible editing. The second one looked like it was edited on a plane. Yeah, I kind of agree. I don't think you can get shadow banned. No. The word skill contains the word kill. That might be it, honestly. Just got back from the tattoo shop. 14 hours. You did a 14 hour session? Whew. The longest I've ever gone is nine, and I was dead. De My arm was on fire. Let's -a go. Skill. Oh. Whew. Fuck that. After about five hours, I get done, but the, I'm, I'm paying for the whole day, right? Like, the way... I, my guy charged me 2000 bucks for the day, right? As long as you can sit, and I'm, so I'm gonna fucking sit, right? I'm getting my... I'm, I'm finishing that day. I'm not coming back. <laughs> ah. Yeah? You glued my hot dog with corn dog with ketchup? Yeah. Paid for the day, I'm going to use my day. Maybe you should come up a tattoo artist. You know what? The, you know where you can charge those prices? When you're a tattoo artist who's gone viral on social medias. Yeah. <laughs> then day rate, yeah. Not saying you don't know. That's not what I said, Panty Hamster. The fact that you just heard negative out of that is not... Literally didn't say anything about you. Or anything negative in there. How did you make that A about you and negative? You just fucking Michael Jordan that. I took that personal. Is Michael Jordan your way into that? Yeah, exactly. I was gonna say my my Let's my tickle. artist did his first tattoo when he was twelve years old. He tattooed his Still thirteen year old me. brother. Breaks records. So he's got time, right? He's got time in it. Yeah. Sneaker creator? Uh, no, I haven't, Mushi. But now I'm gonna look him up. No gibberish donos. It might be skill. It might be skill. Let's go. Who isn't so great? Are you kidding me? When was the last time you saw a player with such an ability and movement with Mario? That one worked. Who puts the game uh, in another level? And we will be blessed if we ever see a player with his skill and love for the game again. 
Barb breaks records. In your artist garage. Fab breaks records. Alex, I love your Who breaks the rules? I'm a huge fan of yours. You can keep your statistics. I prefer the stomp. I never wanted color, and then I started hanging out with you, Nuka, color, new, you, Nuka, and Zach, and you guys all have such bright, beautiful color. And I was like, I want bright, beautiful color now. And now all I do is get scared to go in the sun. Envy, I'm sorry for what you're going through. We're just not, you know, we're not doing trauma dump on everyone, but um, all love. Yeah. Um, every two to three weeks since August. Whew. Do you sunblock every day? Gross troll. Um, are we close? I'm close. Wait. I know, now I'm like, now I'm like so anal about it. It's me, Alex. I'm the Alex, it's me. <laughs> Gotta keep your arm shaved too. Dude, I didn't even, I didn't even realize how much the hair would annoy me now. Like now I'm like, I wanna get like, yeah, I hate I hate having my arm hair now because it just makes my my stuff look not as bright. <laughs> All I know is when I'm 80 and these things look horrible and ugly, they're still going to be more bitching than my normal gross skin <laughs> you shaved your legs so that the portrait kept a mustache not worth the bit <laughs> does laser hair removal fuck with tattoos I, I was just thinking the same thing I would think so right but are there different types of lasers They are? Yo, I mean, this sounds weird because I'm a 40 year old man, but I would totally laser, laser my, uh, my armpit hair at this point. She had laser hair removal, no chain. Does she have color? Yeah, does she have color? Hmm, okay. Right? Finding conflicting reports on Google? Ooh, I don't like conflicting reports. Yeah, I don't want to wax my arm hair. Thought about the rumor, new James Bond? Who's the rumor? How close are we to the end of the level? Ah, uh, not very. I wouldn't I wouldn't say very. Uh Sanix, I'd say like the climb for Sanix has been going. But I haven't watched Sanix enough on the like the first half to know how well they're doing. But like Sanix has been kind of like working backwards and, and I feel like they're getting pretty good at that. You don't get any man who wants to remove armpit hair, but each their own. What's it doing for you? What's your armpit hair doing for you? Yeah. You know what? I didn't I didn't know either. And then I, Tofu was like, yeah, I shaved mine. And then I started like, 
If I, like, trim it, I still have a little, but, like, yeah, I trim it down now, man. Like, why do I need a fucking Don King shooting out my armpit? <laughs> yeah, I, I do, now I just, like, kind of, like, zoop. Keeps you warm? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I get rid of it. Ever since I started doing it, I'm like, this is way better. No, it doesn't itch because I don't. You don't. I don't like full do it. I get like I do like a like a buzzer, whoop, like a one guard. Whoop. Body hair is key for sweat management, bro. I play video games, humanly. <laughs> do you incur humanly? Let me ask you a question. Are you married or you have a girlfriend? Yeah, fair. <laughs> you knew where I was getting with this. I see them bitches be sweating all the time. My wife sweats. My wife sweats all over the place. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm she loves your bo smell. Okay. <laughs> That's not where I'm going with this. Do you encourage her to have armpit hair? It helps human sweat. <clears throat> you get where I'm going with this, you know? Yeah. I I'm just gross. I feel I feel I feel lighter without it. Yeah, I feel lighter when it goes. Yeah. I'm not knocking it. I was just saying, yeah. Less hair means more arrow. I was about to say, you know what? Michael Phelps is a hairless, hairless human. If you're more manly than Michael Phelps, you do it. Uh, I mean, I think people are closer, but not close. Mm, what do you mean, blue snake? Like, and then have to clear the test level? Guess I don't understand why that would be more efficient. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of my thing. Baltic women would disagree. That was the weirdest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there's some who like hair and some who don't. Some who don't carry their way. But these are a lot of generalizations. Yeah, you're just making a lot of generalizations about this. Oh my god, Beast just did it. Humanly, do you trim? Do you do, do you uh, trim the junk? Yeah, you trim your junk. You just let that grow wild. I mean, you know, the uh, the smaller the bushes, the bigger the trees look. You know what I mean? Like, come on, there's plenty of reason. <laughs> he didn't actually beat it, chat. He didn't actually beat it. Yeah. You have multiple? You don't? <laughs> but it helps. It helps human sweat. Uh, I do like Catherine. Yeah, I, I like Catherine. I played it back in the day. Uh, no, it wouldn't count Ninja 7, but I, I don't really know any way that they'd be proved if that did happen. Yeah. <laughs> the 
The scratch ratio goes drastically down, you maintain. Yeah, I think it's easier. Easier. It's easier to shower everything off smooth. Why did men grow beards then, you wonder? Is it just below the neck you need to trim? What are you talking about, dude? What are you even talking about? <laughs> also, don't say men. I can't grow a beard, so don't bring me into this. <laughs> also, I don't know if you know this. I've seen plenty, plenty of people that can grow mustaches much better than me. Like your mother. Yeah, no one really tried to be it before the last few weeks, so. Yeah. My chin has terrible sweat management. Also, also, humanly, answering my question with a question is not answering my, you know what I mean? That's not proving anything. Good, good talk, bro. I had to read your name, get your clocks out about seven times before I, um, after I read, because I read your, what you wrote first, and then I read your name, and I was like, hmm, 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 took me a second. Big Cheese, were you on watch along today? the implication we don't watch long today or was it uh are you doing are you doing um NCAA well I guess not today you support the unibrow for sweat management best conversation uh yeah second skin oh that's next week i wonder who was on today who do i think has the best chance of clearing it uh janking curbs right now did i sleep a week i got worried too don't worry Oh, chat. I got to pack. I know. I know. I'm with you. Didn't we have a test today? Yeah, I know. I had that one. I do have that energy. I know we're talking about all of a sudden. What am I packing? I need to go. I'm going to Boston. I have I chat at literally this time in 24 hours from now, I will be in Boston performing uh, speedrun sessions exactly 24 hours from now. I am all the way on the West Coast right now and I will go all the way to the. Yeah. Did I practice? I practiced today. We'll be fine. Better live up to the hype. I'm at PAX? No, I'm at home right now. I'll be at PAX 10 in the morning. Mm -hmm. I know. Can't wait for speedrun sessions. It'll be fun. It's like I practiced Fly Me to the Stars for GDQ. Hey. I got through that run, didn't I? Am I spending time at actual PAX too? I don't think so. I, I kind of hate PAX. Aggressively crowded.
Dude, you're like a fifth person to make that joke, Spanyo. No! How much you get Pooh to do a furry convention? Like, what do you mean? You want me to play at a furry convention? Or do you want me to, like, just be there? Uh, me and my wife actually went on a... We had a date night at a hotel, and, uh, like, we were there. Hotel also had a furry convention going on at the same time, and it was amazing people watching all weekend. I learned so much about the community. They got game rooms that are streamed? Mm, yeah, I don't know. Whatever my day rate is. Like, I wouldn't charge them extra because people are watching me in costumes. That wouldn't... That doesn't bother me. Yeah. It's also not going to awaken anything in me. I've, I've been around the scene. Um, I will... I'll say this, chat. Uh, furries run the internet. And I'd say... Um, you know... More than one biggest donator, person's biggest donators on Twitch are uh, part of the community one way or another. They do. Yep. Twitch, Microsoft, Meta, all of them. Yeah, they run the internet. They also are huge into speedrunning. Speedrunning attracts everyone from all walks of life, though, especially people that maybe feel like... What do I want to say? Like... I think speedrunning is already something that you already might feel a little bit shy to tell people you do, so it might uh, be more apt to, you know, get people that aren't ready to, like, be themselves a little bit. And, and speedrunning is also, like, a really, in my opinion, like, because you can set a time and, and then get your respect that way, and then, you know, everyone's, you can kind of, like, open yourself up beyond that. Yeah. I don't think furries, I mean, the only people furries get a bad rap from for uh, are scared little twatty boys. You know what I mean? I don't think any adults, like, really cares. <sighs> yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, it doesn't scare me, you know? Like, why, like, someone, someone wanting to hang out with a dude in a Dalmatian costume has no effect on my life one way or another. Um, other than, honestly, I would much rather people watch that than normal-ass people watch, right? It only makes my day better. Yeah. <laughs> it only makes my day better. What discords are you in, Flexo? You fucking weirdo. That says way more about you than anyone else. It's a self-report right there, bro. Doesn't doesn't happen in my discord. What Discord is this so I know how to avoid it? What is the link to this Discord so I know how to avoid it? As you take the quiz to determine my first persona, wouldn't I just... Well, I guess I couldn't be a bear, right? I guess that would be... I Because that has significantly different meaning. I would be false advertising the whole way. Yeah. <laughs> Ada Wolf Snack Sea Beast. Mod took the fall for me. Regardless, regardless, here's the thing, chat. Here's the thing. Here's internet hierarchy, okay? There's internet hierarchy, okay? Of communities, right? Gamers are way down here. And way up here, there's like K pop stands. You know, but then at the tippy top, the furry community. They run the shit. 
They absolutely run the ship. They can end you. Blangui, thank you for 35 months. Thank you for 25 months. The biggest stockholders in all those companies. You think those costumes are cheap? <laughs> yeah. You guys think I'm joking about this. I'm not even joking about this. I am so dead serious. Oh gosh. Bart, Brad Simpson, if you combine those, Swifties, K pop stands, <gasps> it'd be like the fucking Megazord. I haven't watched it yet. It's kind of right, Kermade, yeah. <laughs> See? See? I eat puppies, can tell you there. Everyone work everyone working in tech. Everyone working in tech that's not that's not part of the community just learned. Uh probably. I gotta shave my head before I go. That's actually what I need to get off and do is shave my head. I know I'm fake bald man. I'm I just um I appropriate bald culture. Yeah. I'm, I'm a cultural appropriator when it comes to bald. Useless slut, congrats. You know what though, useless? If they're crying, they ain't dying. Meow, 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 beans. <laughs> yeah, that's probably accurate. Yeah, I'd imagine there's definitely people. Who's my my money to beat this uh beat this first? Jank pickle. It's my money. Yeah, it's just it's hard to say. I mean, I don't know. I generally think I mean like I don't know. If I don't know if people would are grinding it without without streaming it right now, how many people are actually doing that, I don't know. Being bald is not as bad as people make it out to be. Dude, uh, respectfully, when I say this, bitches love bald guys, okay? I said respectfully before you get mad at me, okay? What I said respectfully. Um, the organized, thank you for 31 months. Uh, Chris Four Dumbs. Yeah, I think either really short or really long. You can't go wrong either way. Uh, Luthius, thank you for 33 months. Yeah, respectfully. Um, I, I'm like, I'm a buzz cut kid. Yeah, I'm a buzz cut kid. I've, I've shaved my, I've basically done a buzz cut since I was like 14. It would be cool. Yeah, I want to not grow hair on my head or my chinny chin chin. Yes, it did. And beaten. Look at Johnny Sins. He's bald. That's that's the celebrity lookalike I always get most, even though I'm not as bald as him and my wang's way bigger. <laughs> and he has so many jobs, what a professional. I know, I only have one. Well, two now. Uh, gamer and professional broadcast streamer. Why do you know that? I remind you of the bad guy from Highlander. There can only be one. Was he really the bad guy? He just wanted to also be the Highlander. Yeah, was he really the bad guy? No. I don't know if he's the bad guy. <laughs> a 
Like if I just want to live for like you're living forever and I just want to. Uh... Oh, he was a dick about it. I don't know if he's a bad guy. He was definitely a dick about it. Is Highlander a good movie? It's even even better um, syndicated show that came on after Xena Warrior Princess. He did bad things to non-Highlander people. Yeah, but he would have lived for like another thousand some odd years. He could have atoned. <laughs> I don't remember enough about it to really give you guys enough about that. Hard to atone for gen- He didn't genocide, did he? I don't remember that part of Highlander. What article? Is it about Highlander? <laughs> Happy Ramadan. Um, uh, Foxy Grant. Well, I, wait, we're accusing the Highlander bad guy of this. I'm just saying, did he target a group of people? Or did the tar or did the Highlander guy just, I mean, like, was he, because the big difference between serial killing and that. A large difference, chat. <laughs> Was he British? <laughs> uh, yeah, they could keep it downloaded past April 8th, but I mean, that, but that'll like, you know, that'll, here's the thing, there's a deadline, right? That's what makes this exciting. If there's no deadline, this wouldn't be exciting. The fact that there's a deadline is what makes it exciting. There's an episode of the show where the bad guy was supposed to do it or the Highlander was supposed to do it. F3 just had a guy completely ram a guy off the road on a street. What? Road rage, man. As someone that got road rage this week, you know, people are crazy about it. Mm, I don't think so, CS Coffee, because Highlanders have to kill Highlanders, right? The deadline makes you feel sick if they don't make it. I kind of think one level remaining at the end is as romantic as everyone beating it, too. I, I kind of think either way. I kind of think no matter what, this was a wild success for... Team 0% for Mario Maker, for creators that have been playing it, for the community in general. I think this has been, as someone that was not into this at first, right? It has completely sucked me in. The story and everything else has just sucked me in and made me really, it's been really fun. Yeah. I agree. I'm too invested to not see the level done before the deadline. <laughs> Chat, do you know the tension of April 8th, what that's going to look like? If no one's beaten it by April 8th, everyone's just going to be grinding. We're going to be sitting here with seven screens up. <laughs> it's the eclipse. Oh my God, just add it in there. In my experience, the difficult Mario levels with a sad feeling right now. Um, right now, right now, Thab's in. I'd say I think everyone right now is kind of in this spot where they're feeling like they're not having a lot of progression. They haven't had a lot of progression over the last five hours or so. Like Thab's PB, I think, happened seven-ish hours ago in his game playing time, sometime yesterday. 
Um, and I think that kind of wears on you because you start to think like, oh, what did I, what am I doing wrong? How do I fix it? Am I doing the same thing wrong every time? Do I need to just do, you know what I mean? What is going on? Um, so in my opinion, that's pretty much what everybody is feeling right now. They're just trying to get that like piece of consistency, um, to where they can either get to their PB like a few times in a short period of time or get past their PB and then that will get the adrenaline flowing again and then you have like that good like like a good streak of like progress and then you kind of you know the adrenaline is coming back down and then you'll have another you know bit of kind of like stagnation yeah yeah someone did beat Trials of Death and someone cheesed it too which blew my mind. X-Pac! Yes. Speaking of eclipses, how come the eclipse in Heroes was a global? We're not doing this. That's funny, Dance Cop. Hmm. <laughs> Curb's streaming only on the weekends? No, he just hasn't got on yet. Really, Tweej? I would have never... I didn't notice it. I mean, there was always so much going on in that level. I could have never noticed it, but I didn't watch a ton of it like that. Uh, wish you were good. Thank you for 51 months. Same. Same. I wish I was good, too. Uh, I don't know. I watch Ken stream. Um, I'm more of a Blanca guy myself. But um, bump, Street Fighter joke. It was, but Trials of Death had like a um, basically like a, a like a uh, what do I want to call it? Uh, Dev door upload so that you could play it. Uh, Aristoc, thank you so much. Mm. I think so. Yes, I think so, but that wouldn't count for like Team 0% because it wouldn't get uploaded to the server. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I could. I remember that level, though, very, very deeply. How did that... How did Beast just kill the piranha but still jump off the plant like that? That was weird. Uh, I'd probably bet on Jank Pickle right now. She's got the most hours. Can't upload now. Hmm. Uh, this level can be considered the hardest level of the game. I, yeah, I mean, probably not the hardest, no, but it's just, it's a dense amount of stuff all at one time, so, um, and it's also just, like, a very, a very specific tech, which I guess most people would consider kind of jank in some ways. This level is so short, it'll take chat a while to notice it'll happen. Well, yeah, I mean, because it's like, you know, you could be looking some... I mean, I'll have one more subathon, I think, before, like, everything's done, I'm sure. But I, I just don't have... I, I don't see me doing... I'm definitely not doing one this year. 100% not doing one this year. No chance. Yeah. 
Instead of doing a subathon, we're going on a vacation this year. I'm doing I'm doing a two night vacation. We love Pulinko. Instead of making money, I'm gonna be spending it. Not really. This vacation's super cheap, man. How do I incorporate the sliver into vacation? I'm gonna be slivering something all weekend. That wasn't that funny, Chen. That wasn't that funny. Yeah, I'm. I feel like I'm only gonna do like all inclusives from here on out because it was, it was. It's not that bad. You're going to a four-day vacation in Tao in a couple weeks. Looking forward to it. South Lake. When are you going? Mid-April. Going for like the last week of snow. Uh, you're watching Jank Pickle stream for the first time last night. She was so humble and gave me so much credit for boost and popularity. Give me credit. <laughs> I have do shit. Yeah, what do you mean? She doesn't need to give me fucking credit at all. <laughs> she's the one playing the level. Yeah, she's the one putting in the work. I'm just congregating everyone's things and saying, hey, go look at this person. Go look at this person. You know what I mean? I'm not doing shit. Yeah. South Tower, a bunch of those in South Bay. Well, don't come visit our place. No, I'm just fucking. That's awesome. I hope you have a good time. Or where are you, where are you staying in South Tower? What, um... Drink high-end beer and whiskey. Getting some Pliny the Elders. Bring them down. You start a new job on Monday, you give me all the credit? Well, that's true. It's spelled it wrong. When you joined this stream, you were a pathetic pile of human and now you're a married pathetic pile of human so i did my job <laughs> plenty the younger starts tomorrow that that's a that's its own thing man well plenty the younger is way better than plenty the elder for the record but it's just like you know getting getting um Having to wait in line for beer like it's a Wii in, in 2009 is just not, I just can't do it. <laughs> mm. Curbs is made it from the third mushroom, the third thing, so. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah. Pliny's good, but not worth the hype price. Uh, I mean, I don't think many foods or drinks can be worth any hype, like, right? Because, like, there's only so much flavor you can get out of anything, you know? But, um, Pliny the Younger is a pretty great beer. Pretty fucking good. The Elder, I'd say, is a little overhyped, but the Younger is good, and it fucks you up, man. You get so drunk so quick. Yeah. I still like the elder though. You get a selfie with me tomorrow? Yeah, after the show I do uh we do a line and I do selfies, hang out, everything, whatever you want. Or if you see me anywhere, just say hi and yeah. Of course. That's what speedrun sessions is for. Speedrun sessions, I make you guys watch me play video games so I don't feel awkward that we're just going to do like meet and greets, you know? I don't know how it broke. <laughs> this level's hard, yeah, very, very hard. I mean, yeah, but I would know your screen name. If you come up to me and say, hey, I'm Craig Johnson, I'm not going to know who the fuck you are. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, uh, would the person who beats this be considered the goat of Mario Maker 1? Uh, listen, I don't care who you consider the goat of Mario Maker 1. I, it, I don't care. And it's a... One of the more irrelevant goat conversations ever. Yeah, I'll beat it tomorrow live. Yeah, I don't care. Being the being the mess Mario players, like being the tallest dwarf, doesn't really help anyone if we can't reach the top um reach the top shelf, you know? <laughs> How do I decide what city speedrun sessions come to? Um, a lot of it has to do with like what cities. So like, you know, th who through Red Bull has a budget? Um, the, they have a bar they want to work with. Um, so who's got a budget? Have I been to that city before? Do I want to go to that city? Um, is it? Where it's around my schedule. Am I going to have to travel two, three weeks in a row? I don't want to do that anymore. I like my kid. Things like that. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love to do international, but I don't think it's I don't think it's happening, to be honest with you. Tito hot dog. Is today the day? Uh I don't think so actually. Uh, Chrono Gears, thanks again. Um, the collective efforts insane is really awesome. Yeah, I'd say the Beast is playing really good. He's getting the first and second one pretty consistently. If I host one internationally, you'd have to get a work visa. No one wants to deal with that pain in the ass. Um, I mean, I could probably get around it in a few different ways, to be honest with you. Like, I could probably get around that stuff where I'm just going and doing it for f free. Yeah. I was watching, Patty. This is the single best thing I've ever done on Twitch. <laughs> I was saying, I, I, made two I made two videos that I spent like a half hour total on filming and they're my two biggest videos of the year i'm 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 done i'm done making my own content i'm just going to talk about what other people are doing all day it's so good you i have a little you know what i i sometimes i have a little spot open just slap your i needed someone to slap themselves watching me watch everyone else Wait, I had a YouTube video today? What was my YouTube video today? I didn't even realize I had a YouTube video today. Wait, he made a video about me watch partying? No, he did not make a video about me watch partying. This is the run. If it's not the run, next run is the run. No, he did not make one. Dude. Patty, off? I feel like an idiot. What have I been doing my whole life, right? I realize now... I realize now that video games have been holding me back. Right? The only reason you play games is so you can get a little street cred so you can talk about everyone else's games that they play. I didn't even know I didn't even know we had a YouTube video today. I didn't even know we were uploading anything for that.
Only took me seven years to figure that out? Dude, I've been streaming for 10 years. What are you talking about? That's just, that's just full time. You only play games for the women in the jewels? Yeah, that, you know what? That's why I got into speed running too. Pussy. It's everywhere. What, in my opinion, what's the most epic outcome of the story? Three people all clear it virtually at the same time. And then we have to go to the server and see who is actually first clear. That would be the most epic way it could happen. Like, you're literally watching it and, like, two people are making the climb at the same time. Uh, in your opinion, yeah, that I think that would be the, the most awesome, awesome time. On, on April 8th. You want to see me judging others? I mean, I can't judge anyone for this trick. This trick's stupid. You did? Isn't the first clear the guy that uploaded the map? Yeah, but those don't count. Like, those don't count as a clear, right? That just doesn't count for obvious things. Did I see the... Yes, I did see the Majora's Mask. I'm worried he won't do my hand now with it. Uh, Faye Pananda. Thank you for 17 months. This is like watching grass grow. Slightly more exciting than that. I'm trying to think of what I could compare this to. I don't know. It's trying, it's like watching grass trim. You're right. You're right. You're right. Like power washing with a squirt gun. <laughs> Squirrels try to break into a bird feeder. Yeah. Kind of like sitting in Vegas and people watching. Like going to a baseball game early and watching batting practice. Oh, it's way more exciting than baseball. It's like grass learning to grow, and each each day it grows a little bit better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like watching a 24-hour eye race is the same thing over and over, and every once in a while you pass a car. Fuck you, Stort. <laughs> so you mean the most exciting goddamn thing on Twitch? God! The most exciting goddamn thing on Twitch? Come on, man. Uh, you just don't see it getting cleared in time? Ah, bro, there's like 20 days left. Yeah, there's like 20 days left. We're not, we're not even in that. We're not even in any sort of worry yet that you got you got another 10 days before you got to start worrying about it not getting cleared chat yeah you got another 10 days before you even need to worry of even slightly who am i rooting for community can't wait for i racing rivals too i don't know if we'll ever get to do a second one but that was a great rivals i don't know yeah, i'm rooting for the community Creator level is not involved, no. Nor would that count anyway. The issue is now that you're here, you can't leave because the second you look away, the dang thing will get cleared. I know. Can we place a bet somewhere? Listen, I'm trying to get a website going. <laughs> Yeah, trying to get a website going. I'm 
Wouldn't count, no. Doesn't count. Bets for this on Manifold? What's Manifold? Do I think this is the biggest night of their career? Depends who clears it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't count creators. Shohei might want some of that action. I know. What, Spaniel? Is that real? Do I hope it happens soon? Um, If it doesn't happen, like, in the next, like, 10 minutes, I really hope it doesn't happen till Monday. Personally. Because... At this point, at this point, I have like uh, forced my way into this and I'm gonna be really sad if it happens while I'm out of town. Yeah. What if it happens during speedrun sessions though? We need to put people on during speedrun sessions, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised, Folipo, yeah. Folipo, um, for years and years, like, the triple, uh, like, a triple cork flip in snowboarding was just thought, like, impossible, impossible. And then one guy did it, and by the end of that summer, it happened over summer, by the end of that summer in snowboarding, like, six guys had done it. It was crazy. Yeah. It was just, like, crazy how one guy doing it was like, oh, well, yeah, we can do this. Yeah. <laughs> no, I won't. I'm... No point. Oh, DJ, thank you for 32 months. Uh, I mean, I think that just, I think that's how it works. I also think that's like something with like progression. So, um, when you watch a, I have beat this level on Beast thing right now. I have beaten that level. When you watch a, uh, like when you're a kid and you watch like, remember when we were, like, when Michael Jordan in the 90s, right? We were watching him do that shit. And it, he was the only one that could do that shit. Well, then every kid that was playing basketball then wanted to do that shit. So they learned that shit, right? And now everyone in the NBA can do what only he used to be able to do. You know? Yeah. And now, now the NBA is full of people that have that same, you know... Skill set. It's just he had it when no one else did. Yeah. Steph Curry. Steph Curry. Yeah, Steph Curry. The way Steph Curry changed to like now everybody has it. Oh my god! It. Wait. I know this level that's on Beast Thing right here. That's a good looking level. Oh my god, chat. Look at this level on Beast Thing right now. Holy fuck! Look at this great level. Oh my god. Why is this so good? Why is this level so good? Holy holy cow! Oh my god. What an amazing level. Holy fuck. Look at this thing. Incredible. What an incredible level. Oh my god. Is there going to be a triple? Way too many. Who made this? Who made this incredible level? Oh, God, what a good level. That was probably the best level I've ever seen, honestly. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, I mean, I think that's another great example. Like, the 900, you know what I mean? Um, I mean, now there's fucking 10-year-olds uh, that do 900 on the vert, on vert ramps. It's insane. Like, there's literally fucking 10-year-olds that can 900 on a vert ramp. You know what I mean? And it, and the only reason that happens is because, like, they think it's possible, you know? Like, you're a kid, and you see an adult do it, and you're like, all right, well, that's where I need to be, and so you just start going for it, you know? Yeah. So, it's just kind of... 
how that all works. Are we having a March Madness show? I'm only on it a few episodes this year. Yeah. Sid, Toast, Sid and Daryl are on it every day. I'm only on it a few episodes. They cut me out. Yeah. I'm so excited. Uh, yo, DJ, thank you. Yeah, you don't have to, you never have to do that. Unreal how good they are. I mean, even when you go to your local skate park now, like, you go to your local skate park, and it's just full of a bunch of cats that would be, like, the god of the 90s, you know? Like, literally, the god of the 90s. And they're just cruising around your local park, you know what I mean? used to skate with a Walkman. <laughs> Better than a Discman. Oh my god, dude, they did, they had a Michigan in 200 a night, you know? That was cool. I didn't skate that much though. <laughs> yeah. I did a lot of rolling around. I did a lot of rolling around, not on transition. I was like, I was like, do not, do not break your arm in Volcom. Do not break your arm in Volcom. Whatever you do, do not break your arm in Volcom. Yeah. Who's the GOAT Mario Maker level creator now that we're near the end? Uh, whoever's your favorite. My opinion, um, there's no knock on anyone else, but um, at, for Mario Maker 1, it's Panga. Yeah, for my, that's my opinion. I don't think, I don't, th I don't think there's anyone that had as, there's no, no one had as big an impact on the game as Panga did. No. None of this, none of this is here without Panga. None of this is here without what Panga did. Panga gardened an audience for us all. He break, you break. Just the way his streams went and he made... Yeah. He was it. Yeah, I, I think for level creation, he's, he's the man, dude, um, in this game. That's not like, that's not knocking on anyone else. I just think that Penga's the man. I don't blame you, Unlocked, yeah. I mean, he's, I mean, Dram World 1 is not like, you know, it's pretty early in the whole Kaizo, like, ROM hack experience, you know what I mean? But I think there's Mario Maker 2 without Penga. Um,. I don't know. I, I don't, I definitely don't think Mario Maker would have been as big of a Twitch experience or as long lasting as it was without Panga doing what he did early. And I, I do think that a, a hard level community would have like eventually came out of it anyway. But I think like him and the excitement of a pang, cause like Kaizo levels weren't Kaizo levels at first, they were Panga levels, right? Even, even to the point where I made my first Kaizo level and people called it a Panga level. Like, oh, is this a Panga level? Is it a Panga level? It's a Panga level? Um, so he was so synonymous with that. So I, uh, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I don't think 
I don't know about Mario Maker 2, I can't really express like that, but I, I just don't think that, like, I think a lot of us would not be here without him. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Curbs, Jank, Beast, there's a lot of people that are getting that first drop now on a relatively consistent basis. It's it's the second drop in going, it's the transfer from the second one to the third one, and then onto the bomb, that's, I think, is going to just be everything. Yeah, give me a video. <laughs> yeah, I can see it. You don't need a permission. I can see it. You don't need it Fast I mean everyone's seen fast crush like Ooh. Yeah, it's pretty good I remember fast was crushing like mid-air levels Might be a really hot take, but Panga levels are so influential, but only in the West. Um, I mean, I just think you're deeply wrong about that. J Japan was playing Panga's levels too. That's where Yata came from. Um, so yeah, I would, I would, I would definitely disagree with you on that. Um, we were working together, like us. That's the only, honestly, when, for, when Mario Maker first came out, it's probably the only time that I've ever really had interaction with the Japanese community. Um, but tons of Japanese players were coming over and watching here on us, and we were going to Nico and watching them and hanging out. Um, so I would actually 100% disagree with that assessment. Um, yeah. I think all of that, again, came from Panga. Yeah. I mean, I'd even go so far as to say, like, Val was more popular in America than he was in, not Nico Nico. You know? Where should the Panga Shrine live? He should get a Kobe Bryant, like, um, statue outside Mario, outside of Nintendo. Vegas boogie, you start taking bets. You don't need to be in Vegas to take bets on this. I don't think Vegas would um, clear this for legal betting, so I think you would need to honestly be anywhere but Vegas for this. <laughs> what tool, zombie on a bus? Yeah, what tool? What is this tool? April 8th. <laughs> what is this tool? I don't know, auto hockey and program the inputs? You still have to learn how to do the inputs, right? At which point you've beaten it. Oh. Just raise down people in chat say, but what have you cheated? I just think people don't, um, I, I, yeah, I really don't still think people understand the amount of work that would go into quote unquote tasking this game. Yeah. Way easier to just hack a clear. Yeah, if you were gonna do that. <laughs> You're just curious? No worries. But yeah, the generally, like, I don't know what tools there are. I'm not saying there's not tools to do it, but... Oh. There definitely wasn't in 2017, so... But yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, I feel like I feel like the amount of effort it would go to cheating, you just beat it. There's someone in the comment for today's video saying they thought it was fake. Yeah, I mean, there's been a couple people that I mean, there's been two two people, prominent people I've said that they thought it was a fake upload, but the problem is that their evidence is me better than that player. That player no good, no way me not able to beat it. And Unfortunately, that is in the debate world. In the debate world, not good. It's like singing evil woman. Sorry, that's a community reference. Uh, probably Lumi J. I like I like more themes. Exactly, you know, so I, 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 you just need a lot more evidence than that, other than I think it was, you know, that's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Super Mario Maker 3 out of Wonder theme, <laughs> Super Mario Maker 3, you're so cute. You're so cute. You're adorable. Just so cute. I would I, I I would I don't have as much faith in the third one as other people do, but What's the stream schedule looking like next week? I don't know, I gotta get home from Boston, dude. I gotta get home from Boston and figure all that out. I'm just trying to get through tomorrow, chat. I'm just like stressed about it. I just wanna get through this show and hey, make sure everybody has a really, really great time. And once I get past that, I can be, I'm good. Yeah. If Nintendo was to make Mario Maker 3, one or one streamer to be the voice of the community, who you think would be a, a good streamer? Beast. Beast is really good at the first bomb drop, yeah. Beast, Beast right now, Beast is just trying to get from the second, second plant to the third plant with any sort of consistency. The bomb drops is feeling really good. Saturday or Sunday, I don't know yet. You could play it, but it won't matter. I mean, like, the server ending is the date for this, this fun competition. Ever do speedrun sessions in the Atlantic City area? I don't have a plan to right now, but who knows. You're going to be at PAX East tomorrow? Or are you coming to my show tomorrow night? Going to my show tomorrow night? You and Jiggy? Mm, that's a good idea. Just eat the other runners and then absorb their skills. A good idea. Yeah, the only thing I don't- I can't tell is if Snaxy's iframe thing is affecting him or not. Uh, no. I don't think. Billy is probably happening. Am I going to catch F1 Australia live? Uh, yeah, actually, I probably will watch that race live. Honestly. Since my sleep schedule is going to be all jacked on Saturday anyway. Oh, wait, no. I mean, that's like a 10 o'clock race West Coast time. That's like 10 o'clock West Coast time. So, yeah. That race. That's one of the very few. Hey, the shade. And then finally, by the end, he laughed and admitted that we're best friends and have been forever. And that he thinks about me at night and just has a tattoo of me. Yeah. And has a tattoo of me on his butt, you know. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, not even friend zoned. I didn't even get friend zoned. It was like just absolute, absolute absolute shade of me, you know? I'll I, I I'm okay with it. I've recovered, but <sighs> trying not to let my heart break on stream. Yeah, try not to let my heart break on stream. Work zoned. Mm 
Maybe it's like Michael Scott, work acquaintance is higher praise than friend. I did. I stayed up all night that night thinking of it. That's why I had such bad anxiety yesterday, chat. All right, all right, all right. Uh, Alberto Malachi, thank you for 37 months. You'd watch the point where my heart explodes. You could. No, don't get off for me. What do you mean, don't get off for you? Because then if someone wins, then what? Then it'll be you. Then it'll be no one's winning today. Don't worry. No one's winning. I and I have to get off. I got to pack. I have to. I I'm literally going on a flight in like two hours. So I gotta, I probably need to pack and do all my shit and I've just been delaying it. I know, I know. Uh, chat, right now we're gonna raid, we're gonna raid. Um, uh, who won? Uh, the raid is Poo Raid, Best Friend Raid, Poo Raid. <laughs> Poo Raid, Best Friend Raid, Poo Raid. Poo Raid, Best Friend Raid, Poo Raid, okay? That's the raid call. Poo Raid, Best Friend, yeah, just like that. Best Friend Raid, Poo Raid, Best Friend Raid, Poo Raid. Poo Raid, Best Friend Raid, Poo Raid. <laughs> there's the, tum there's the co copy pasta. Huge ass something dice got it. Copy pasta. Coffee pasta. Coffee's the pastas. Um, I love you, chat. I'll see some of you in Boston tomorrow. I'll see some of you in Boston tomorrow. If I don't see you in Boston tomorrow, I'll see the rest of you on probably Monday. If I don't see you in Boston tomorrow or on the stream because we'll be streaming the show from Boston tomorrow. So if you want to watch it, you can come here and watch it as well. Um, but I, uh, otherwise I'll see you on Monday. Cool. Everyone, I love you. I'm very, very, uh, shit, what are we? Damn it, I, 22 more subs I needed to stay on for, Gina. That's what it was. I couldn't leave without 4K. Now I'm freaking, now I'm gonna be freaking out all weekend. I love y'all. I hope you guys have a great end. Don't do it. No, don't do it. Do it tomorrow during the, the show. I love you. Have a wonderful day. I love you all very, very much. I hope you guys have a great day. Raid hard, raid hard, raid hard. Peace. Bye.